Hello developers in this tutorial we will learn how we can deploy this simple flutter web application on netlify so let's get started while talking about flutter web deployment first we need to understand the available renderers for flutter web so there are mainly three web renderers option available first one is auto second one is html and third one is canvas kit so auto is the default renderer auto renderer basically uses the html renderer for mobile browsers and uh, canvas kit renderer for desktop browsers what is the difference between html and canvas kit renderer so here you can see html renderer uses a combination of html elements css canvas elements and svg elements this renderer has a smaller download size Canvas kit renderer. This renderer is fully consistent with Flutter mobile and desktop, has faster performance with higher widget density, but adds about 2 MB in download size. Means it is faster, but at the same time large size. So you need to choose based on your requirement, like what you want. You want simple renderer or some large size renderer with faster performance. So depends on your requirement. You can use any of these two renderers. But there is one problem in Canvas kit renderer. I would not say problem. But I have personally faced it using canvas kit renderer image does not load properly like if you are using image dot network then you need to add the domains like from where you are adding external images that's why we will use html renderer here simple and fast you will not occur any error and uh, this demo application is also running using html renderer that's why you can see the images so now let's start the deploying first you need to build your web application so for building our web application we need to run this command and here we will not use canvas kit we will use html renderer html and it will build your web application and now go to your cd build slash web go to your web directory because we are only pushing the web version not the entire project so make sure to change your directory and go on the build slash web and here you need to initialize your repository and push it now let's create new repository in your github account and uh, name it anything you like create repository and follow the instruction here to push your code i have already pushed my code in this repository pchat web not double b here so you can see this is my code after pushing it so i have already done it uh, you can push your code after that create account on netlify so just uh, if you don't have an account just click on sign up you can also sign up using github so i have already account with github so let me log in with github and uh, click on add new site here and import an existing project and uh, click on github authorized here click on configure netlify on github and uh, here you can either select all repositories or only selected repository but uh, i would recommend you to click only for selected repositories and here select your repository like uh, in my case it was p chat web so add the repository that you just created and click save and now i can see my this pchat web project here so click on this and uh, deploy the site you can see deploy is in progress so you can see here the application is deployed and uh, so now our site is live and now we can click on this preview button to check it so it will take some time you can see this install option means it is working and yes we have successfully deployed our flutter web project on netlify thanks for watching feel free to like and subscribe